Unfortunately not, David. It's a situation that's happening all across the city and people who live in this neighborhood, well, they're fed up. They're afraid to even go outside at night alone. And it's all because a group of houseless people have moved into a vacant home right on the street. When you drive down Southeast 113th Avenue, this beige house seems to fit right in. They keep it nice and tidy on the outside, uh, you know, so that they try to blend in with the neighborhood. But everybody knows what's going on over there. Everyone like Lily Wild, who lives two doors down. You should see the people that come around here. She's witnessed drug deals and gun violence at the house over the past four years. I can't look out my bedroom window without starting to sweat just <laughs> because of them. It's been unnerving at times. You know, I think it definitely brings unwanted traffic into the into this neighborhood. Thomas Adcock lives across the street. He says there were two other vacant homes in the neighborhood where houseless people stayed. Those have since been cleared and renovated, but this one remains. There was a chop shop down the street that had drugs flowing out the door, people t stealing cars and chopping them up. So we see drug dealing, we see drug use. Uh, urination, public urination in the front yard. This woman didn't want to be identified on camera, afraid of retaliation from those experiencing homelessness. It makes me upset that the city doesn't seem to care about our neighborhood. There's not squatters here. There is no squatters here. We talked with those living at the house. Has the city and police ever told you you have to leave? No. No. Are you afraid of that ever happening? Um, yeah, probably. Why are you afraid that you would have to leave? Well, because it's not my house. I don't own this house. I know that. <laughs> do, you, do you pay anything to stay here? I pay the electric. Records from Portland's Bureau of Development Services, the department that responds to complaints about dangerous living conditions, shows the property has been cited seven times since the early 2000s. We asked them about people staying here illegally now. Several of the properties that we look at have had some sort of degree of unauthorized persons in them, but again, that's that's a matter for law enforcement to, to, to deal with. As for getting police to respond, that's been an ongoing battle. It's like almost a lawless city a little bit. It feels like no one's really listening, and um, that kind of, kind of freaks me out a little bit. They know my name at the police station soon when I call. Um, they don't do anything. Now, we reached out to the police as well, and they told us to get back to them next week. As for those living in the house, they say they're on a list to find housing and are just waiting for the day that they're forced to move out. David. Frustrating on so many levels. Blair Best in Southeast Portland. Thank